Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Vanessa from Crafty Elvira. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart because I reached 46 subscribers and it's crazy to me because I created my YouTube channel last month and I'm already close to my goal. My goal is to hit 100. So I'm almost there. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this fall theme book. It's really simple to make, guys. It has space for journaling, so it can be for journaling. You can add a photo here. It can be a photo album. You can send it to your snail mail friends for your pen pals. Every page comes with a pocket and with a tag inside. And it's super easy to make, guys. So if you want to learn how to make this fall book, go ahead and keep on watching. These are the materials that you're going to need. So I'm going to score each side half an inch using my We Are Memory Keepers mini scoreboard. So I'm just going to score each side. Now using my ATG gun, I'm going to put double sided tape inside the square. So not outside the score lines, but inside the little square. Next, I'm going to add my chipboard that measures 6x6 six six, and I'm going to place it inside the square. Now I'm going to cut the corners and I'm leaving a tiny little gap. I'm not cutting it directly to the corner. As you can see, I'm leaving a tiny little space. Now I'm going to fold my score lines. Now I'm using the edge of my scissors to fold down the edges. Next, I'm going to add some art glitter glue to the edge and I'm going to press on it and I'm going to rub from the front. and then turn it around and rub the back. And then repeat the same process for the three other sides. You can use double-sided tape if you like, but I personally like to use art glitter glue. All right, so now I'm going to use a ribbon that I bought from Michaels. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. I'm not going to wrap it all around the front. I'm just going to cut part of it. And I'm going to crease it to fold it. Don't worry about about um, how it looks right now because we're going to use a pattern paper to cover it. So now I'm going to put some hot glue on the ribbon. The hot glue gun that I'm using I bought it from Sam's Club. Just make sure you add enough hot glue you don't want your ribbon to be falling apart. Thank you. 
Now, using a 6x6 pattern paper, I'm going to cover the back of my front. That way we don't see how the ribbon looks and we can mat the front. And there you go, that's the cover for my little book. So now I'm going to add a front pocket to the cover. I'm going to use a scrap that measures six and a half by three and one fourth. And I'm going to score it at one fourth on three sides. This is going to be a pocket. To go ahead and fold your, your score lines. And cut the little square that we form with your pair of scissors. Now I'm using my one inch punch and I'm going to center it and make a semicircle on top. And add some art glitter glue or double sided tape, whichever you'd like. And then just glue it down to the back of the cover. So now you're going to repeat the same process, but this is going to be the back of our book. So you're going to need a 7x7 scrap, score it, and then adhere the chipboard and fold the lines and glue the edges. And then use a 6x6 pattern paper and cover the back of your cover. Same steps as before guys, we just didn't add the ribbon to this part. You need a ivory 6x6 six six and a pattern paper 6x6 six six. and you're going to add double sided tape to three sides. One side is going to be open because that's going to be the opening of the pocket. And as you can see I marked, I marked it with the little red dot and I marked it at 3 inches. So at that 3 inches I'm going to use my 1 inch punch and make a punch so again I'm going to add tape to three sides only And there you go, I made a semicircle and that's going to be a pocket, a side pocket. And now I'm going to repeat the same process with the other papers that measure 6x6. Six six. I'm only going to add double sided tape to three sides and the side that doesn't have anything like tape or glue, that's, the, that's going to be the opening of the side pocket.
Okay, so now you should have eight side pockets. Now you can go ahead and put the back cover first and then arrange the papers however you want. Right now I'm just showing you the order that I want my book. So I start from the back of my book all the way to the very beginning. Next I'm going to use this cinch by We Are Memory Keepers. I'm gonna go ahead and punch out the cover first. Next, I'm going to punch out my side pockets. And lastly is going to be the back of my book. For this project, I'm going to use a spiral that it measures half an inch. And I'm going to put it on the side of, my, of this cinch. To assemble the book, you have to put the back cover in front of the front cover. I know it sounds complicated but just look at what I do. I'm going to go ahead and cut the extra wires that we don't need and you can actually save that for another little book. Now that I have it all together and assembled, I'm going to flip the cinch and I have it at half an inch and I'm going to put my little book inside the little black bar and then I'm going to press down on the handle and there you go it closed it up this is the reason why you need to put the back cover first and when you open it to the very back it has the closing now I noticed that my little wires were a little bit too long so I'm going to trim them so let's take a look at how the book looks right now. I really like the way it's turning out. It's super cute. Next, I'm going to add some borders to my ivory papers just to add a little decoration to them. You don't have to do it, but I like to do it to embellish the ivory cardstock. Next, you need your eight pieces of pattern paper that measure five and a half by four inches. I went ahead and added some ribbon to the edge and a little bit of a border to cover the staple. And these little tags are going to go inside the side pockets. It's a perfect fit for them. And the little ribbon is actually going to come out through the semicircle, which I think that looked super duper cute.
Next, I'm going to stamp my ivory papers. I'm going to stamp it with some lines for journaling. So I'm going to use my archival ink and a stamp block that I bought from Michaels. And I'm not going to stamp every single ivory paper, I'm actually going to stamp every other paper. So I'm showing you a tiny little mistake that I did while I was punching the cover. I forgot to close the last one so that way it wouldn't punch out that square that I don't need. But the good thing is that I only did it on the front cover so it's actually very easy to fix. I'm just going to add a rainbow to hide my imperfection. And I adhered it with some hot glue. And there you go guys, I hope you liked today's video. Uh, hopefully it was simple and easy to follow. It can be a photo album, it can be for your snail mail friends, your pen pals, anything journaling using the We Are Memory Keepers The Cinch. If you liked today's video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be back with another crafty video guys. Peace!